Alexis Rodney reports that Attorney General and Minister of Legal Affairs Basil Williams today opened arguments in his application to the High Court in relation to the December 21, 2018 vote. Among the arguments presented by the Attorney General was the validity of the Resolution 101, a subsidiary legislation which the AG said is inconsistent with Article 73 of the Constitution, which is an entrenched provision guaranteeing any one government a five-year term. The resolution is a certificate of the speaker that purports to say whatever is contained in it is, is conclusive of what transpired in Parliament. It is subsidiary legislation and as the Constitution is part of an act, the, the um, Constitution of the Cooperative Republic of Ghana Act, it is what we call um, attached to the act and becomes part of the act. So that if any subsidiary legislation is inconsistent with the provisions of an act, then it is void to the extent of that inconsistency. The AG's team, which included attorneys Royce Dale Ford and Maxwell Edwards, also addressed the various majorities that exist in the National Assembly, pointing out that it is only the absolute majority that is required in a vote of no confidence. The simple majority is the simplest one. The absolute majority has to be greater than the tree of the simple majority because it requires all elected members that are present. And then you have two thirds majority. The case on Friday was the final of the three that were before the acting Chief Justice. The other two were Compton Reed versus the Attorney General and Charindas Prasad, and the Christopher Ram versus the Attorney General and Leader of the Opposition. Chief Justice George said she will make rulings on all three matters on Thursday, January 31. Reporting for Info Hub, I'm Alexis Rodney.